The Wood Whisperer is sponsored by Powermatic and Typebond. So today we've got an interesting project for you. Uh, we just did a shop tour, but I'm going to make it almost out of date at this point because we just installed an air conditioner and that required me to take all of the wood off of this wall and I had a, a pretty simple horizontal storage for lumber. So we're trying to rethink how we want to do this and I think I'm going to go with vertical storage. We use vertical storage in our shed, which is where we keep most of our material, and it just makes life a whole lot easier sorting through the wood, getting everything in a nice stack, getting it off and back on. It's just a breeze. So the space we're going to do this in is right here against this wall. We're going to utilize this whole section for some nice vertical storage. We're going to build a platform that we're going to have to level because my floor is definitely not level. And I'm going to make use of some pipe materials here. Uh, basically, I've got a couple of 12-inch uh, nipples, which should impress you if it doesn't. There's something wrong with you. Uh, but we also have these floor flanges, which will offset here. Now, this is not my idea. I've seen many people do this sort of thing, but I think it'll work really well. A couple of two by fours to be able to anchor to, and uh, plywood for the base really is all about, it's, uh, about all it's gonna take. Over here, I probably will include some wall-mounted horizontal storage for shorts, right? So it's gonna be a fun one. Let's get to it. We'll start by cutting up some plywood for the platform. On the underside of the platform, I'll install a grid work of support strips using some ripped 2x4s. We'll attach them with glue and brad nails. To keep the boards from moving around or sliding off, I'll install some additional strips on the top surface of the platform. With the platform in place, we can begin leveling it. As I mentioned before, the slope in my shop is pretty significant, so the far end gets some 3 quarter inch pieces of scrap as shims. We'll then use some standard shims to provide support where needed. After the glue dries on the shims, I'll trim them flush and add a couple of dabs of construction adhesive to hold the platform in place. Now we'll cut up some 2x4s for the support strips. Wherever we have a divider on the platform, we'll have a pipe divider up top. The top support rail is attached 6 feet above the platform. When drilling into soft wood, it's a good idea to use washers or screws that have a wide head as it helps distribute the pressure. The lower support rail is placed about 3 feet above the platform. A floor flange is added on the ends and at each divider location. I'd like to put some eye bolts through the pipes, so I'll carefully drill each one. The eye bolts are then installed, one to the left and one to the right. I want the bottom support pipes to be a little bit longer than the top, and all I could find were these 18 inch pieces, so I cut a few of them down to 16 inches. So that's 12 inch pipes on the top, and 16 inch pipes on the bottom. Now we can thread each pipe into the flange. For safety, I cut some chain to length and added spring snaps to each end. So I think this is gonna be really nice to have in the shop. Now, a couple of questions that I know are going to come up. Uh, does the wood warp when it's stored like this? Well, not if you're storing the boards practically vertical. They're almost at 90 degrees. In fact, I measured it, they're about two degrees off 90. So that's not a lot of pressure causing them to warp. Uh, the other thing is if it does start to do any warping, you can always rotate them and flip them around once in a while. Um, but this storage for me is not long-term storage. This is where I put the wood before I use it into a project and then the scraps go somewhere else. So ultimately this is a very temporary storage solution. Another thing you might think about doing with this kind of storage is turning the wood this way and then leaning them up against the, uh, the pipes. And this way you kind of have almost like a library or a bookshelf where you can kind of just pull each piece out. In this case, I don't really have that much material here. I like being able to see the faces of each board and it's not hard to get to the ones behind them. But if I'm ever at capacity here, I might turn everything sideways just to accommodate more material. The other thing people tend to be concerned about is will moisture wick up from the ground into the boards? 
Well, if you're on concrete and it's unsealed, you certainly might have something like that occur, but that's why we have a platform. It is uh, providing a nice distance between the concrete and the wood, and because we had to level it, there's a lot of air underneath there, so there's plenty of room for air exchange, and if there is moisture, it should dissipate fairly quickly. If you're having trouble deciding should you go horizontal or vertical, here's what you want to think about. If you are very tight on floor space, this kind of storage solution might not be the best choice. This could be a, a drill press or some kind of a saw here. Uh, so you'll probably want to go with wall mounted horizontal storage in that case. But if you have enough floor space and you don't mind sacrificing wall and floor space, I do think this is the better and the easier way to store lumber that prevents you from having to get up on a ladder all the time, which was definitely not my favorite thing to do. So for us in this particular situation, I think this is gonna work out very nicely.